Hello and welcome to something kind of brand new for this channel, something that I have never done. I have in front of us a booster box for Stellar Crown. This is the new expansion of Pokemon TCG in the uh, Scarlet and Violet era. This is actually releasing September 13th, uh, but our local, local uh, game shops around were able to start selling it uh, on Monday the 9th, so I was able to pick up a box. Very excited to get into this. We're gonna be opening up all of the uh, 36 packs uh, that come within. I, I'm very excited to open this. I've never actually opened a booster box before. Um, <clears throat> if you've been around on the channel recently, you'll know that I have been getting into actually playing the TCG. This has been my first season that I have actually participated in challenges and cups. Uh, I hope to go to a regional um, later in this season. Currently, the best I have placed is I placed 7th uh, in a cup where I was playing the uh, Lugia, uh, Lugia uh, deck. Uh, and more recently, I've been playing the Maridon deck uh, in as we're about to move into, out of the Shrouded Fables, uh, into Stellar Crown becoming the, the main expansion. Um... There's really exciting cards in this set that I'm hoping to pull, both for playability, um, as well as there's there's some cool art in this. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, like I said, it's my first booster box, so forgive me if I am not up to... to oh, wait, does this... Wait, this pops out. Oh, this is a whole thing. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Cinder Ace on top. Um, with, I have been corrected when I said, uh, ter uh Tropic Tropicos, as I believe the pronunciation, um, of this Pokemon, uh, not here, that's Galvantula. Um, just wanted to just grab them. We have, oh, there they are right there. Um, these are the four pack arts we've got rocking, um, for this expansion. Galvantula, Cinderace, Lapras, and Tropicos. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna hop into these and... Oh, that was a terrible sound. And we're just gonna uh, pull the hits, see what we get. Um, again, I'm not someone who's big into collecting for uh, selling for money. Um, I'm more so looking to pull some actual play uh, play deck or play cards uh, for decks. But if we pull some really cool cards, who am I to be upset? Starting off with some fire energy. Also, the new energy layout for this set. I I honestly am a big fan of. Probably gonna swap these into some of my old energies that I've been playing recently, just because that's that's really cool. Um, kicking it off with a Tauros up front, Fido, Applin, Crabrawler, Velazluza, Reverum. We got Briar. This is a new card in this set. You can only use this card if your opponent exactly has two prize cards remaining. During this turn, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out from attack from your Terra Pokemon. Take one more prize card. This card is going to tech great into uh like the charizard uh deck charizard of course being a terra pokemon you off one of your dust skulls to get your opponent down to two prize cards and then you to take a nice big swing to take three prize cards in a turn honestly a pretty exciting addition um i'm gonna hate it though probably if i'm on the receiving end we got the reverse hollow glam meow uh, we got Pangaroo and Greninja EX for our first pull here. Little coin of heads, this attack does 100 more damage. Two energy cost for 200 damage. Uh, not terrible. That is our first, first pack here. Uh, but I'd love to know from all of you, are you excited for this set? Uh, I know a big thing right now is Pokemon feels like it's rolling out set after set. Before you can really even appreciate one, it's gone. Shrouded Fable, I know, was uh, a mini set. I think there's an actual term for it, so it's understandable, or it's not understandable, but it's it was known going into it that it was going to be a short set. Um, but yeah, I feel like just like we're already talking about the next one, and Stellar Crown hasn't even come out yet. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see. Oh, that's so. I love that art. Legender. Beyond Tokenamaru, Jirachi, also some fantastic art there. Uh, the Glass Trumpet, this is what I've seen other people are also excited about. You can only play this card if you have a Terra Pokemon in play. Choose up to two of your benched colorless Pokemon and attach a basic energy from your discard pile to them. 
Oh, shoot. This could actually... That's actually a really interesting card. Could work into a lot of different decks. I think the Terrapagos deck um, is one that's going to be big, which is one I'm hoping to be able to build. Uh, Kofu here, put two cards from the bottom of your hand. Uh, from your hand on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you put two cards, draw four. Ooh, interesting. And Mel Metal EX. Hey, I love that we're two packs in, pulling some EXs. Um, again, since we are pretty early into this release, I haven't gotten a good idea on what the hit rates for this box are, um, or for this expansion if people are uh, saying it's it's got bad pull rates, what it is, I have not heard yet. Some Psychic Energy. We got a Drifloon. <laughs> Clink. Boot Hoot. Imp. Area Zero Under Depths. This is another one that's going to be very interesting in this expansion. So this stadium card, if you have a Terra Pokemon in play, your bench expands to eight Pokemon. Um, it's going to be really interesting in the Tropicos deck with the Bufalance. It's going to be interesting in the Maridon deck, uh, making Raikou, uh, Raikou an actual attacker. Um, we're going to see some very interesting um, uses for that stadium card going forward. And I, for one, am excited to see it. Clank, clank. Hey, there we go. Emergency rotation. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon's in your hand, and your opponent has any two stage two Pokemon to play, you may put this Pokemon onto your bench. Oh, so it just goes straight into play. That's going to be an interesting one. Uh, working into uh, some steel steel decks. Uh, we'll see what, if anything, uh, I think it's any playtime at all. It'll be interesting to see some off-meta decks making use of it. I'm going to go for a guess of Grass Energy. I haven't seen Grass yet. Ooh, hey, we were just talking about Metal. So far, we've got one of each uh, Energy. We haven't duplicated any Energy yet, which is exciting. Electabuzz, Comfy, Eevee. I am a sucker for a cute little Eevee art. Low Kicks, Eldegoss, Lantern, Another Briar, Diplin, Ponyta, and Carascado. Very, very cool there. Uh, again, the big thing I am hoping to pull is really in a, any of the new Terra Pokemon. Um, when it comes down to it, when, when deck building, uh, the best thing that I have learned throughout this experience is just buying singles off of either TCG Player um, or if you really want to test your luck, search on eBay. Let's go with Electric. Ah, oh, back to back steel. Um, so definitely anything that I do need going forward, I will just pull the singles, but I at least wanted to open up um, a... Uh, that's really cool. I like that Lapras art as well. I really just wanted to open up one. Lacey is another card that I've heard a lot of talk about. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining, draw eight cards instead. That's going to be another interesting supporter in use with the um, uh, with the Dusclops that we were talking about in the uh, Charizard deck earlier. Uh, to force your opponent down to that three or fewer prize cards so that way you can play Lacey. We got Marowak, Ladian, Pommy. Uh, I'm a big fan of Pommy. Pommy is one of my favorite uh, Pika clones. You can see I have a Pommot plush behind, so very excited to pull that one. And Raging Bolt, a new ancient card in this one with um, some very epic art to show for it. Very epic art to show for it. <clears throat> I'd love to know if any of you are currently uh, pl actively playing this season in the TCG, whether this is your first um, or second. What decks have you been playing, and which ones are you excited to play with this new expansion? Hey, there's that electric energy we were looking for. We got Wulu, Sandalit, Diplin, Panseer, Azumarill, another Area Zero Under Depths, looking for that playset of four. Laminion, Fletchender, Slazzle. Yo! We got the Cinder Ace EX Terra. Um, this one I have seen as some interesting potential uh, builds. I don't know if this specific deck is going to be very uh, important in the meta, but it is still an exciting card to see. Uh, it is at least that Terra Pokemon, uh, which is very important in this set. Unlocks that Area Zero Under Depths. Uh, unlocks the uh, the Briar Pat card. I almost called it the Briar Patch. 
um, and and gives some interesting uh, interesting plays that you can make with it. Uh, for this one, I think we're going back to the water energy. And you know, it was darkness. Another oh, no, Taurus looking to pull um, that Tropicos. That is, I think, my current chase card. Um, another Lacy, Rapidash, All Cream Reverse Hollow. Another token of Maru and Archladon. Metal Bridge. Any of our Pokemon that have metal energy attached to it have no retreat cost. Ooh, that's actually going to be pretty uh, a pretty interesting card in those metal decks along with um, potentially a Dial uh, Dialga deck making a resurface here. I don't know. I don't know where it will land in the meta. Grass energy, finally. Hey, grass energy, finally. Char Cadet, Cyclozar, the an Antique Root Fossil. It's an antique now. Uh, interesting. I didn't know it was an antique. Uh, Metacham, Azumarill, Reshiram, Lemineon, Char Cadet, Reverse Hollow. Yo! It, <laughs> this honestly was a super. And it, right there next to him. He's right there next to him. <laughs> the, uh, is, this, is this a secret art? Uh, illustration rare. I, I'm still learning all the terminologies. Uh, that is a super sick card. Oh, I'm so excited about that one. With a raging bolt hiding behind. That is potentially what I'm most excited about. And I have no sleeves. Where are all of my sleeves at? Um, I have have. They're not like they're 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 my play sleeves, but I at least have a new one here. Uh, that I can at least pop this in to give it some protection. That is... That's an exciting pool right there. That is an exciting pool right there. Um, in our... What set was it? Was it Paldean Fates? That had the Charmander art? Um, and I think this one... I could be wrong. I believe Stellar Crown also has a Bulbasaur, but I, I, I could be wrong. Uh, because Bubbles were rarely ever gets love, which is really sad. Wooloo, Sandalit, Diplin, Panseer, we got Vigavolt, Velzuza, another Briar, Leap, Crispin, search your deck for two basic energy cards of different types, reveal them, put one in your hand, attach the other to one of your Pokemon, and shuffle your deck. That honestly could have some use, especially in some of these, uh, newer cards like our Cinderace here. That is using three different types of energy. It's using fire, it's using fighting, and it's using dark. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see uh, some use from it. And we got one of the Buffalants. This is another important card that we need to place at a four for the Tropicos deck. The Curly Wall. As long as you have at least one other Buffalant in play, all of your basic Pokemon take 60 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, the effect of the Curly Wall doesn't stack. So you just need two Buffalants in play and you take 60 less damage. Um, with the Tropicos, with the uh, Area Zero Under Depths expanding your bench to place these two down without taking up actual useful cards. Um, I mean, actual useful. Other useful cards, I should say. Other cards that you're prepping. Um, it's going to see a lot of play, uh, this, this expansion, um, to see how it goes here. Um... Water energy. Another dark energy. All right, we got ourselves a Wooloo, Finneon, Applin, Fletchling. Oh, they're flying over, um, over Blueberry Academy. That's fun. Orca Berry. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is damaged by an attack from your opponent's fire Pokemon, it takes 60 less damage. That's very useful in challenging the Charizard plays. Uh, Vigavolt, Azumarill, Diancie, uh, Reverse Harlow, Finneon, and another Archladon. Although, realistically, with that being a tool card, the that berry there, there are so many other tool cards that have a, a higher use, and there's so many easy ways to kick off someone's tool card with use of, like, a Lost Vacuum or something like that, so I don't know necessarily um, how much play that berry will see. Let's go with some Psychic Energy. Hey, a bit of a Psychic here. Metatite, Glink. Turtonator, Impidimp, Rapidash, that is some sick art. Vigavolt, Diancie, Nimble, Lantern, Ladian. 
I'd love to know, are there any specific Pokemon that you all like to uh, collect, no matter what it is? Uh, I'd, I want to start, like, a... Maybe I want to do multiple um, different uh, water. Hey, two in a row. Multiple different binders that are based around specific Pokemon. Pommy, that pot, the Pommy line is one that I've been wanting to do. Um, Poliwag is another one that I'd like to start a binder around and just, ooh, that's a cool Mewtwo art, and just collect all their R's. Uh, something like Mew would also be one, but so many of those Mew cards are so expensive. Noctowl. Uh, once during your turn, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, if you have any Terra Pokemon in play, you may search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's very interesting. That's going to see some play. Uh, Varum and a hey, another Noctowl. This one holographic instead of reverse holographic. I'll take those. I believe, and I, I could be wrong once again. Let me actually do um, a double check here. I believe that is what the uh, comes in the ETB um, for Stellar Crown here. Um, is this Knocked Owl, but I believe it has a special art for it. Stellar Crown ETB searching here on Pokemon Center. It's already sold out. What? How is it sold out? It hasn't come out yet. Um... Show me them Knocked Owls. Yeah, with a special art. Yeah, Jewel Seeker is the same one, but of course the Pokemon Center one. Let me lower my brightness here so you all can see. Um, such cool art and the Pokemon Center stamp on it. So those Knocked Owls, definitely going to see some play. Uh, definitely some nice, uh, nice builds are going to be popping up um, with them in mind. Um, grass. No, Psychic. I lost my Psychic powers. Drifloom, Ponyta, Cubone, uh, Milsery, Slowking, another Orca Berry, Crabobitable, Ace Spec Sparkly Crystal. Uh, when the Terra Pokemon this card is attached, you use an attack. The attack costs one energy left. Now, this is an Ace Spec. I, I, I just don't know. Like, one energy less could come into some interesting plays with, like, the... Uh, stuff that uses multiple types of energy. Uh, I just don't know if if taking out like the Prime Catcher or Legacy Energy or the Unfair Stamp. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see where that one falls. And, yeah, we were talking about it earlier. The Bulbasaur. The Bulbasaur. What? That's wild. Oh, I need to. I, I gotta go. I have to find that Charmander. Um, it's not in the set, uh, but what? And it's the, the with the Pidgey continuing on. I, it, does the Charmander have the uh, Charmander uh, Paldean Fates? Um, oh wait, the card the card's only like five dollars. I could buy it. <laughs> um, oh, was this a promo? Maybe this was just a promo card and isn't the one. Um, what I was thinking of. Maybe this isn't the card I was thinking of, but it also has the, the Pidgeys in there continuing that. But those, very excited uh, to pull both of those. Those are the type of cards, like, the both of these cards could be worth, like, a dollar. Uh, but I wouldn't care. They're cool arts. Uh, they're gonna stick with me now, unless they cost, like, a hundred dollars. Then I might go, well, well, maybe. Well, maybe. Uh, water? grass. There was the grass I was looking for. Clang, Cyclazar, Gulpin, Gravard, Pangor, Eldegoss, Slazzle, Carnivine, the Glass Trumpet Reverse Hollow, and Credilly. And Credilly. Hey, these type of uh, videos are something you'd be interested in seeing more of as we get more uh, expansions coming up. We have uh, Surging Strikes, no not Surging Strikes, Surging Sparks, I believe that's the next set that's coming out uh, at the start of, of, I really hope it's the start of next year, Metal Energy and not coming out in another set this year. Uh, but if it's something you're interested in, let me know. Um, I would be more than happy to do more of it. Um, I do know I need to upgrade this camera. I know the quality is not the best, uh, but hopefully it's still enjoyable to see the packs come through. 
Gargankel EX. This Pokemon can't be affected by special conditions. You know who else can't be affected by special conditions? I don't know, but they're like, what a segue that would have been if I had something to pop off on there, but I, I did not. Let's go with Electric. Thank you. Right on, Mornrim, Glossifular, Cubone, Frogadier, Driftblim, the Gravity Gym. So as long as this Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, the retreat cost of both active Pokemon is one more. Ooh, probably not going to see a lot of play. Fletchling, Orgrim, and Zayora. Could potentially see that tool card just going into decks that just discard tool cards like the uh, Rotom V-Star deck, where it does more damage based on the tools that are in the discard. Um, but I... I don't see that one getting a lot of play. <coughs> Water. Fighting. Froakie. I believe we've pulled now. I think we pulled a Froakie earlier. We pulled the entire line with our hollow that we were with our EX that we got earlier. Score Bunny. Marowak. Toad Scroll. Kofu. Milsery. Charkabog. Galvantula EX. Uh, this is one that we were talking about earlier that I've seen some talk around building decks with that could be pretty interesting. It's got the charged web attack if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX or a V. This attack does 110 damage more for a total of 220. Uh, that's pretty decent damage for only two energy. It does take an evolution to do it. Um, or uh, for Volker... Volkerite? Discard all energy from this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. They can't play any items cards from their hand. That's going to be... Um, an annoying attack to be hit by. Uh, but it does require grass, electric, and fighting energy to set up. So you could see that ace spec coming into play there requiring one less energy um, to make that happen. Uh, but, but we'll see. We'll see what play it indeed gets. Water, lightning, metatite, clink, thirtonator, impotent, electrovire, double, bangoro, Low Kicks, Reverum, and Ladian. I don't know if there are like a specific set amount of uh, hits that are promised in, e in like booster boxes like this, or if booster boxes are just like a collection of 36 packs. I, I really truly don't know what the math of it is. Uh, if you know, feel free to educate me in the comments down below. Minshaw, another Orca Berry. And a lot of those. Gridon, Drifloon, Bombardier, and Metacham EX. Metacham EX. I still cannot believe that we pulled both the Squirtle and the Balls. So we're honestly, from those alone, I'm happy. Um, would still like to get the playset of the Stadium card, um, as well as the a playset. Of, 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 Briar. But, so we have plenty of packs left to hit. Oh, I also just saw, I saw a spoiler. There is another Ace Spec card in here. I saw the purple outline. We'll see what it's going to be. Hey, there's that Area Zero Underdeath that I was talking about. And the Deluxe Ball. We pulled uh, one of the other Ace Specs. Um, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack, even if it's knocked out, put 12 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. If you place any damage counters in this way, discard this card. Very, very interesting. Uh, again, another Ace spec. I don't know if we'll see a lot of use. And uh, Luminion uh, and Noctowl. But still, uh, still a fun pull. Still a fun pull. Uh, one of the Ace specs I pulled from Shrouded Fables, I only opened like maybe four packs just to say that I opened Shrouded Fables. And then I just bought the individual cards that I need because the only ones that I think I really use for Shrouded Fables is Fez and Dippity. But I did pull the uh, A spec that's like heals like 150 damage. Uh, but I feel like there's not a lot of healing that happens other than like from a switch card. Hey, Joltik, I don't go with our Galvantula. Lacey, another Mewtwo. Celebi, that's a cool Celebi. Minfu, Crabomitle. Yo! We got the uh, the illustration rare of the Galvantula here, the full art. That 
That is sick. That is very, very cool. Getting uh, a handful of, of really nice hits uh, from this box. Very excited to see that. Would love to pull the Lapras. Um, would also love, again, to get that Tropicals. We're going from the back of this box just because it started to just fall forward on us. Still quite a few packs to go. I don't, again, after this, I think the only other thing I might open from this set is the ETB. Um, just to get those, uh, the promo knocked owls uh, was my only other thought. Uh, but otherwise, I think I am set to just buy the singles of whatever I will be missing. Uh, Mo Rotom. Isn't it Rotom then the name of what it is? I, I never knew the, the, the what it was was first. Eevee. Raolu, Drillanon, Electrier, Feluza, Swallet, Cyclozar, Panseer, Redilly, Crudilly. I need like I don't know if you all have if you're if you're into opening a lot of cards and you're also on TikTok. I like scrolling through some nights and there are just people that like their lives are just opening cards uh, that people have have bought. Like they're out here with like they open these packs so much faster. Than I ever could. Raulu, Lechonk, Varum, Lilip, Togedemaru, Marowak, Frogadier, Reverse Hollow, Driftblim, Azumarill, and Orthworm EX. Yeah, every time I see them like opening, A, I do get a little distracted watching. Just because I think it's fun uh, watching uh, people open cards. Uh, I'm always just like, how, how are you so adept at opening these packs? You know, I'm over here with scissors just trying to make sure I don't accidentally cut any of the water energies. Hey, here we go. Uh, very fun yells. There's Glammeow, Pancham, Tornadus, Frogadier, Angoro, Double, Clang, and Clink Clank. They're hanging out there together. Um, I will say if the Pokemon TCG is one you are interested in getting into um, an actual play, they do have the TCGL app um, that you can download for free, set up an account, and get into playing, uh, and use some decks there that are pretty easy to uh, purchase with, like, the in-game uh, currency you earn. That's a lot of how I've learned about what decks I want to play, um, and that's definitely how I'm going to be deciding which of the new fire water uh decks i want to play with this new set uh nimble slowpoke that is a fun art froki ladyba coridon Ooh, a different berry if the pokemon this is attached to is attacked by psychic pokemon it takes 60 less damage similar just for psychic we got fan rotom oh wait this is also one i think i've seen a lot of people are adding into decks once during your first turn, you may search your deck for up to three colorless Pokemon. A uh, colorless, rep uh, if, if you're not known as responding to this type, like this Golpin back here is dark. Rotom here is colorless. Uh, Pokemon with 100 HP or less, reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one fan call ability during your turn. Very, very interesting. Golpin and the Iron Bundle. Um, actually, I'm going to put that into my pile of... On pools. Uh, the other thing that's in, that uh, I wanted to mention, if you are wanting to get into the TCG and play for real, there is a uh, an actual deck coming out soon that is basically built for competitive. Uh, you'll probably want to change a few things here and there, but it's uh, built around uh, Charizard EX, one of the Terra Pokemon that right now that is uh, pretty. Some people might call overpowered. Some people might call. Um, just currently one of the better decks to play right now. Um, I call it, I hate to see it, because it is a perfect, hey, there's a Reverse Hollow Briar, and a Metacham EX, um, because it is one of the worst counters to, uh, my Maridon deck that I play. Uh, but it does come with the ace spec of the Prime Catcher. The Prime Catcher right now, I think is the ace spec that everyone agrees is the most useful uh, which currently goes for like around 25 to $30. Um, so in this uh, set, hey, another fan of Rotom, um, is going to include it as a print within it. Uh, so pretty exciting to see an easier way to get the uh, Prime Catcher. Shootle and Grimmsnarl. 
Yeah, I played in my first cup uh, this past week. Uh, 44 players. I was playing my Maraid on deck. Played six rounds of, of Swiss. I ended up going 3-3 three, three, uh, in wins and losses for a 22nd placement. Uh, honestly, I, I had fun. It was my first cup that I've ever played in. So I feel pretty decent about how I did. I, I was, my goal was top 16. Uh, but I am happy with how I placed. Uh, I had two, two matchups into Charizard. Did not feel good. Right, Perior. Did not feel good going up against those Charizards. Uh, they luckily weren't back-to-back. -back, uh, so my, I wasn't completely distraught. Uh, one of them was my first matchup, so I did lose uh, almost immediately. Uh, and then my third loss was just for my own misplay, uh, not doing a correct count of what I had uh, and playing something when I could have waited to play it. Pancham, Erlidon, Frogly, Lantern, Dode Scroll, Diancie, Grubbin, Lapras, Reverse Hollow. Dreadnought. Still hoping to pull the Lapras card, um, as well as that Tropicos. We are getting down to our one, two, three. Four. These are sticking together. Four, five, six. We got seven packs left, including this one that we're about to open here. We'll see what goodness these packs have left in store for us with this electric energy. Palmy, another Palmy. Fletchling, Meryl, Glossiflor, Dornatus, Crispin, Double, Lechonk, Joltek, and Elmetal. And Elmetal. Did I put the last one over there? I think it was a Reverse Hollow, so I don't think I did. Dreadnought, go over there. All my Reverse Hollows I want to keep, or actual Hollows I want to keep together, just to see, like, what all of my pulls were across the way, but I don't think I, I placed the last handful. There we go. Last handful, I did not place off. So we're gonna have a nice stack of cards at the end of this, uh, which I mean, is honestly the other reason I need another MTB is for card storage. Um, a lot of these cards go into my bulk that I will build around later, um, use for like trades, uh, give to people if, if they like certain Pokemon, stuff like that, grass energy. Eventually, I would like to build a living decks of currently the 1,025 Pokemon that exist uh, within Pokemon. Yo, what is that Zeora? That is sick. That is cool with Dreadnought. I hate not buying it. That is very, very cool. What? I'm gonna show this to the big camera here. Or to the, to the nicer quality camera, rather. That is rad. Yeah, stuff like that. Like, I, <laughs> on one hand, I am a, a player in this, but I'm also a collector in this. I love the art. Um, they do like a yearly competition where you can submit. If I was artistic enough, every year I'd be submitting. Because how cool would it be to have contributed art to a Pokemon card? Because uh, just a lot of these arts that these make, even with Pokemon that I don't super love like Panzer, I can just appreciate that that's just a really pretty piece of art. Um... And, and, and truly, truly love it. That's why I actually am using the Great Wave mat here. And you can also see behind me, I have the Great Wave puzzle uh, that my wife and I did that we then put into a frame after because I'm never doing that puzzle again because there's so much white in it that I would just be sitting there twisting a piece to try and see um, if it would fit. Um, often, it did not. All right, we are down to our final four packs. And as luck would have it, we're back to the four arts. Um, so I'm going to save Tropicos for last. I'm going to do Lapras then. We're going to do Cinder Ace first. Because the Tropicos, again, we are hoping to pull that art. Because uh, I think it would be interesting. I think it is an interesting deck to build around. Um, of course, just one is not enough. I, I think it tends to play three. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, not a lot of people have played it here in the U.S. A lot of this is going off of uh the japan playing it and seeing how it's done in their tournaments that they've held since the release of it there um so we'll see how it does over here um which really just say once we have more context isn't the right word once we have more exposure to it just seeing 
uh, more data. There, there's a good one. More data on how this new Stellar Crown cards play. That's really what we're looking for. <clears throat> Brass. <sighs> fighting. I haven't, I haven't guessed fighting at all. I need to guess fighting more. Because it tends to be what hits. Another Barry. Reshiram. Swallet. A. Another Raging Bolt. Wait a second. This one's out of order. This is a holographic, right? Isn't it? Mel Metal. <laughs> Yo! We got the Lazy Full Art. I don't know why this one was where it where it was, but this I know is a big chase card for this set. The Lacy Full Art. That is exciting. That is a good pull. Very, very happy to have had these pulls. I don't know what all of these currently go for. Any number that I, I do throw out right now that might be showcased in this video should be taken with a grain of salt, uh, depending on when this video comes out. Uh, because like I said, the release for this one is September 13th. Uh, once these cards get into the hands of the masses, prices are going to fluctuate just as the water fire fluctuates. Um, Bombardier, Electabuzz, Lechonk, Raboot, Lantern, Slowking, Jirachi, Applin, Golden Bravery Charm? What? I love the Bravery Charm. I play two of them in my ride on deck. The basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets 50 plus HP. What a great pull! That is a... That is an awesome, awesome pull. Uh... Ah, incredible. And we got the last pack magic. I hope you all have enjoyed coming along with me on this ride, opening my first ever booster box. Um, and hey, if you've opened any Stellar Crown yet, let me know what was the best pulls you had. And if you haven't opened any Stellar Crown yet, but you're planning to, let me know what cards you're hoping to pull. Um, or if you're just planning to buy those singles. Like this single... Darkness. Oh, I'll show an electric. Last pack magic. Does it have it for us today? Carnivine. We got the Palmy. The Fan Rotom. We got three of the Fan Rotoms, which is pretty nice. Lilip. Redomital. Talonflame. Slazzle. Crab Roller. Swallet. And before we flip over our final card here, I'd like to again just thank you so much for watching along with us. Uh, we've pulled a lot of really cool cards. We'll, we'll look at them all again here at the end. Uh, but definitely, if you're enjoying this, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we got Pokemon content coming out. We got a Versus coming up soon. And uh, I just really appreciate you watching this video. What do we got for our final pull? Oh, just good old Zayora. But hey, we had some amazing pulls throughout. We got the Travantula. Very, very cool. We got the Bravery Charm. Golden Bravery Charm. We got the Zeora, which I think is just such a cool art. Of course, the Bulbasaur, the Squirtle, and what I, I think is a big chase, Lacey here. I actually have pulled up the top 10 cards that people are looking to pull in this set. Um, there's a Joltik uh, different art um, that looks like people are also going to be looking for. Ah, oh, there's Fido. I did. I didn't want that. The Sparkling Crystal, um, which actually, what was our two A specs that we pulled again? Um, that, I don't think we pulled the Sparkling Crystal. No, we did pull the Sparkling Crystal. That was the name of it. The Sparkling Crystal there, um, which is going to be interesting to see what play it gets. Uh, on this specific list, Lacey is listed as the number two card, this full art here, um, in this deck. Um, with Terrapagos being the number one card that people are looking for. Uh, but I'm excited with everything that we pulled here. I'm excited to build some new decks around these cards and see if I can finally get um, a higher placement than seven. My hope, my goal for this season of competitive play um, is to win a challenge, um, place top 16 in a cup, and make it to day two of a regional event. Um, I feel like th th that's obtainable goals to have. Um, and then down the line, see if I might be able to earn one of those uh, coveted uh, Worlds invitations to play. But right now, it's my first season. I'm enjoying what I'm playing. I know I still have a lot to learn. And I, I'm hopefully you'll follow along and learn alongside with me. 
Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments down below. Like the video, share it with someone who's excited for this set. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some of the other Pokemon content. I have a Living Deck series that's been going on for a couple years where I'm catching every single Pokemon. I started in Pokemon Red, and I've worked my way all the way up to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, playing the actual games on actual hardware. Um, and I'm really excited for that series to be wrapping up here soon as we uh, collect the final few Pokemon I need. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.